A few months ago, I posted a full build video for my mini wildlife identifier. One issue with it was that the battery only provided about 18 hours of life. And I mentioned at the end of that video that it would be good to have some way to provide solar battery power to this. So let's take our newly developed PV Pi prototype and test it out with that. I'm gonna use a much larger external battery, so I'll have to update the enclosure design eventually, but for now, let's just take it apart and plug it together. The existing battery pack was just two five amp hour 21700 cells, but I wanna use something much larger. Let's take off the Witty Pi and mount the Pi Zero back onto the mounting plate just for testing. For mounting the PV Pi, we'll use our standoffs and stackable header just to provide some space for heat dissipation. The PV Pi is a full-sized hat, so it looks a bit funny on top of the Pi Zero, but everything still works just the same. The battery we're going to use is this 12 amp hour, 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. It can provide about 150 watt hours of energy, and as our mini wildlife identifier and uses about 2 watts, it should be able to provide power for 60 hours. As the AI camera can only operate during daylight, we'll only be running it for a max of 12 hours a day. What that means is that this battery can provide power for five days of operation. But let's take it outside and plug in our solar panel. Here I've got the system all set up for testing and I've plugged in a 30 watt solar panel into the PV Pi. With this setup, we can collect a full day's worth of energy in only an hour. What that means is that our device will be able to run day after day, even through the winter months. Now all we have to do is design a new enclosure. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Thanks and see you in the next one.